Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of mathematical economics. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss the idea of function. So I'll start with the introduction to function, uh, meaning of function with the help of economics examples and the idea of domain and range. You can find more videos on mathematical economics, econometrics, SPSS, R Studio, micro and macroeconomics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. So let's begin with the introduction to function. Now the idea of function was emerged in the 17th century in connection with the development of the calculus. And René Descartes in his famous book Geometry uh, used this concept to, to describe the mathematical relationships. And Leibniz uh, used the term function almost after 50 years of the uh, publication of Geometry. And Euler uh, further formalized the idea of a function and introduced the notation for a function, which is y is equal to function of x. So let's understand the formal meaning of function. So function is an expression rule or law that defines a relationship between two or more variables. So here you can see we have two variables y and x. So we are establishing or, or you know, uh, we are examining the relationship between y and x. Or you can have a relationship between y and x and z. So it is the relationship between two or more than two variables. So let's understand the uh, idea of function with the help of economics examples. So first is demand function. Now we know that uh, we, we have inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. So that means we uh, have the relationship between price and quantity demanded and that relationship can be explained with the help of demand function. Similarly, we have consumption function which defines the relationship between consumption expenditure and income. So from theory, we know that quantity demanded is a function of price. So quantity demanded depends on price. And therefore, quantity demanded is our dependent variable because it depends on price and price is our independent variable. So when we define the function, we need to understand the idea of dependent and independent variable. So here the value of Q that is quantity demanded depends on price. So we can find values of quantity demanded with known values of price. We can also have the demand function as quantity demanded is equal to function of price and income. So in that case, quantity demanded is our dependent variable and price and income are our independent variables. So we can find the values of Q that is quantity demanded with known values of price and income. Let's take consumption function. So consumption expenditure is a function of income. So here consumption expenditure is our dependent variable and income is independent variable because consumption expenditure depends on Y. So we can find the values of consumption expenditure with known values of Y. Suppose consumption expenditure depends on income and some other factor uh, called Z. Oh, our consumption expenditure uh, is affected by religion, region, caste, there are so many factors, gender. So in that case, consumption expenditure is dependent variable, income and other factor that is said will become our independent variables. So what is the precise definition of y is equal to function of x? So a mathematical relationship in which the values of a dependent variable are determined by the values of one or more independent variables. So it is a set of ordered pairs where any value of X is related to a unique value of Y. This is very important. Value of X is related to a unique value of Y. So we are going to use this uh, notion when we 
when we understand the idea of domain and range. Again, any value of x is related to a unique value of y. Now let's understand the idea of domain and range. Suppose y is equal to function of x and relationship between y and x is defined as y is equal to phi x. So what is domain? Domain is all the values that go into a function. And range is all the values that come out of a function. And it is also known as image. See this chart. First we have input, that is domain. Then we have the function, that is relationship. And then output. Now suppose our relationship is defined as y is equal to phi x. So for every value of x, there exists unique value of y. See this chart. So x is our domain. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 5. You substitute the value of x here. So when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 5. x is equal to 2, y is equal to 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4 is our domain. 5, 10, 15, 10 is our range. Let's take this example y is equal to x square. So again, for every value of x, there exists unique value of y. See this. When x is 1 here, the value of y is also 1. When x is minus 1, again y is 1. You need to substitute the values here. Similarly, when x is 2 and minus 2, y is 4. So x plus or minus 1, y is equal to 1. x plus or minus 2, y is equal to 4. So here, one value of dependent variable, that is x, is associated with two values of independent variable. Right? One value of dependent variable, that is y, is associated with two values of independent variables, that is x. And therefore, this function or this relationship qualifies as a function. Take another example. y square is equal to 16x square. This is the relationship. So here, we don't... So, so every value of x does not exist... That there does not exist any unique value of y. See this. This value is associated with two y values. So one value in domain is associated with two values of range. Similarly, again, one value of x is associated with two values of range. So when x is equal to 1, y can be plus or minus 4. You substitute the value of x here. When x is equal to 2, y can be plus or minus 8. So therefore, one value of independent variable is associated with two values of dependent variable. So this relation does not qualify as a function. This is not a function. So for every value of x, there must be unique value of y. If this condition is satisfied, then the relationship is qualified as a function. So in this video, I have discussed the idea of function, the formal definition of the function and concepts of domain and range. If you find this video useful, kindly comment, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.